Today I want to talk about something called two-step verification. What it is and why it's important to you, especially if you use a public computer like one in a school computer lab or perhaps a public library. So two-step verification has been in the news a lot here at the beginning of September 2014 because of some recent um, celebrity iCloud accounts that were compromised and digital images were removed from those accounts shared liberally over the internet. If you want to know more, Google it, you'll see. I'm not concerned about the celebrity angle, I'm concerned about your security. One of the ways to protect yourself is called two-step verification. What two-step verification is, is using both your password for your email, like I'm going to do here, and another code that is generated from your phone. So you can see what's happened here. I'm being asked by Gmail, hey, you need to enter the verification code generated by your mobile application. And I'm going to go off to my phone and grab that code. The reason this is valuable is that no one else can get into my account unless they also have this code. And yes, you can see the code right now because it's a one-time only code. You can't use this again to get into my email. It's randomly generated. Now check this out. If I leave this box checked, don't ask for codes again on this computer, then I don't have to do two-step verification. But if I uncheck it and click verify, then I will be let into my email. And this is what I see when I go into the app on my phone and use Google Authenticator, an app that is free for you to download, and it generates a random number. That's the number that I place into two-step verification. So let's go back. Why is this important to you? Because if you are logging into a public computer, you don't know um, who might be looking over your shoulder at your password or capturing it in some other way. Even if your password is captured, you still have some protection with two-step verification. Now, stepping back from that a little bit, if you ever feel like your password has been compromised, somebody saw you type it in, somebody knows what even half the characters are, change your password. Your password now is so important to your livelihood. It's your digital social life. It's your digital educational life. You need to treat it with care and make sure that if there are any problems with your password, you get the protection that you need. So again, if you're using a service that is password protected, Google it and see if they offer two-step verification. Thanks for watching and have a great day.